I'm going to bring up the scorecards. I'm going to bring up the MMA decisions. But before we talk about all of that, I test. Who won this fight? Man, uh, scoring-wise and how I was doing it versus I test, Volkanovski won this fight, brother. I had it going into the fifth, three rounds to one for Islam. And then Volk came back and did something that, in my mind, if that's how it's going down on the streets, mm-hmm. that Volkov won that fight. Volkanovski won that fight, man, all day long. I He came back and he showed what it takes to be a champion. And mm-hmm. I feel like that's what really kind of turned the tide for me because I had Islam winning. I had Islam mm-hmm. controlling it. I, yes, having a hard fight, but looking good in the strike. And, and then Volk comes back in the fourth. What about you, Derek, in the fifth? Excuse me. What do you think? Listen, man, I'm one of the biggest Volkanovski fans that you can have. I, I really, this guy earned my respect time and time over. I do not think he won this fight. I don't think it was like tremendously close in terms of scoring criteria, right? You got to think about it like this, man. Islam Akashev, when he got himself into a bad spot, what did he do? He grappled, he controlled, he took his back. Yeah. Did Alexander Volkanovsky get back up to his feet? Yeah. But then he ended up right back down on the ground, right? So it's like, okay, do you get points for defending the thing you're supposed to defend? Generally speaking, no, right? You're supposed to defend the takedown. Do you, here's the thing. I'm going to, so I'm going to give you like, this is the reason why I think Alexander Volkanovsky lost this fight, especially. And I think he did it to himself. Every time Islam Makashev hit Alexander Volkanovsky, he reacted and he made a show of it. And what does that do? Not only does that show your opponent, oh, you got me. That shows the judges, oh yeah, this guy tagged me, right? Every time he hit him with the counter. Okay. All right. That was good. Right. He hit him with something. He'd fall back. Oh shit. And then he'd get back up to the scramble when vice versa, besides that fifth round, when Makashev got dropped, but also was dropping down for that low ankle pick at the same time. That's the only time Makashev was in any real danger. And that was in the last round. So I'm just going to leave it at that, man. I think Makashev won this fight. I think it was handedly. I think that when he had Volkanovsky's back and Volkanovsky was punching him in the head as he has his back, listen, what's more dangerous Threatening a choke when you have somebody's back two hooks in or little rabbit shots from the back. Come on. What are we <laughs> saying here? Which is the argument, AJ, here. This is tough because this kind of plays in that Val- Valentina Shevchenko. Um, when she fought Tyler Santos, she kind of did that same thing and she was able to get the victory that way. So long story short, man, I think that this shouldn't be as close as people are making it seem. But to correct me, am I wrong here? Am I saying it wrong? Am I too favorous towards Islam Makasha, even though I'm a huge Volk fan? No, you're, I don't. I don't think you're seeing it wrong from a, an analytical, from a hardcore, mm-hmm. from a normal fight person, a guy, a guy who, a uh, person who is involved in the sport. I don't think you're seeing it wrong at all because I see it the same way. I think Volkov actually did want Volkanovski. I keep calling Volkov. Mm-hmm. Volk won the first round with the big one. There was a lot of exchanges, and I think with the the knocking back of Islam and how the pressure was going. For me, he I gave him the first round. After that, Vol, uh, Islam came back and started winning two, three, and four. I had Islam winning those three. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's an interesting one because I was looking on the uh, – I'm, I'm excited to see what you pull mm-hmm. up with the scorecards because the verdict scorecard is all over the place as well. So I don't. I feel like there's a lot of ways you can score this fight. Me personally, one to Volk, two, three, four to Islam. And then the tide started turning. And I think where a lot of people were really swayed and where I, where I was swayed is when Volkanovsky really started to stuff the takedowns, started making Islam look like he's really kind of a normal fighter. He's getting tagged up. Islam's starting to get a big welt on the left, right, uh, the left side of his face, right? So whatever side it was, get a welt on the side of his face, stopping the takedowns, stuffing things. Yeah, did technically, like I said, I feel like there's two ways to this one. Technically, did Islam win the fight? Yeah, 100%. Like three to one, four to one, it's how it goes. In the streets, I would have been the man, like you need to run this one back. Like this yeah. is this is a fight where it looked like given a little bit more time, Volkanovsky was gonna win this fight. And I see you shaking your head, Derek. I know, I know, dog. But I think that's where a lot of the people are coming through and saying that Volkanovsky at least earned a little bit more respect and kind of has a reason to win this fight. And even Islam was saying he's like, Yeah, I'll give him the rematch, man. He deserves it. I don't think I've ever disagreed with you more ever in the history of us <laughs> recording this program, bro. Um, listen, if you gave uh, Volkanovski the first round of this fight, you're the only guy that did that. Nobody else did that. Not one of the judges did that. Nobody. You'd be the only one. You want an island there, brother, right? I'll say this. What happens on the street, this is the UFC, this is MMA, this is not the street, so it doesn't matter what happens in the streets, right? At the end of the day, Volkanovski gets a lot of moral credit um, on, this, on this loss, right? Because you take the boogeyman and you make him look human. Did we know Volk can do that? I thought Volk can definitely do that, right? That's why I said Islam by decision, right? However, making somebody look human does not mean you won the fight. 
making the boogeyman look like a non less scary boogeyman does not mean you won the fight, right? Like at the end of the day, yeah, you outstruck him, little pitter pat shots, all that good stuff. You reacted more. Um, the damage that happened to Islam's eye literally was in that fifth round of that fight, right? So Islam said it himself. He was like, I watched the fight back, bro. Congratulations. Volkanovsky got one minute out of 25. Great. You know what I mean? So I'm going to pull these up right now and then let's talk about it because I do think I, I want to see like why I want, I'm wondering, I guess, why there is this discrepancy here. So I'm going to pull this down really quickly, make it a little smaller, right? So you got Volkanovsky and Makashev. Rounds one, two, and three were given to uh, Makashev on the Derek Cleary scorecard, which is the kind of crazy one, the 49-46. I don't agree with that one. But one, two, and four was given by the other two judges, David Letheby and Ben Cartledge. So, um, yeah, like I said, brother, you're the only guy that would have been given Alexander Volkanovsky the first round of this fight. When it comes down to it, the controversial rounds, I suppose, not really controversial, but it comes down to three and five, right? So, yeah, Volkanovski definitely got the job done on five. Uh, I think he got the job done on three right there, man. But you pulling something up? Are you seeing something different? Do you disagree with these? I mean, these are the no, scorecards. No, no, no. I was pulling up the verdict, and they had it the same. They actually have uh, two going to uh, Al Volkanovski and three going to Islam. That's why I was saying yeah. these ones are all over the place. And I maybe I, I haven't I didn't rewatch the fight, so it could mm -hmm. be another one. I'm thinking of other I, of one, but on how it went down, definitely three to one going into the fifth, and that's where Islam or uh, Volk won the fifth for me. And as always, you know the fifth round. Sometimes you feel like it should matter a little bit more. It doesn't matter. So at the end of the day, Islam did win the fight. Hand gets raised. He gets double the purse. Is well, listen, what it is. Listen, brother, this is the, the part two where I want to just make it definite here. Because, like, I get what Verdict is saying, and I can get how some people, ah, oh, yeah, Volk won the fight. But let's let's be honest here. Come on, bro. What are we talking about? Are we going to do another one of these yeah. where Makashev wins across the fucking board and he gets, like, five picks for Volk? But listen, man, the people have spoken. Makashev won the fight, man. Like, mm -hmm. I love the moral victory for Alexander Volkanovsky. I think his stock does nothing but increase exponentially. And we know for sure now he can handle with the top boys in the lightweight division. We know that. So I do think a move to the to the upper division will be coming. But let's put a little respect on Islam Makashev's name, man. He said it post-fight. And this is where I think Makashev's stock rises as well. He says, guys, like it or not, I am the best fighter in the world right now. Like it or not, it doesn't matter what you like, bro. It doesn't matter that we're in Perth. He went to enemy territory and got a decision over the reigning champion there that hadn't lost in 20 some odd fights. With that being said, can we take a moment to take a step back and really talk about like Islam Makashev is the real deal, bro. Come on, man. Think about the stipulations. This it wasn't in Abu Dhabi. This, this was in the enemy territory and still got the job done on a close controversial decision. What do you think? Yeah, no, 100%. And uh, and credit to uh, the judges in Perth, in Australia, in enemy mm -hmm. territory, because they could 100% robbed him of this one. And I don't think, I think a lot of people went up in arms, but that's how, you know, in other sports, yeah. this is Olympics, this is wherever the case may be, this, it could happen. Mm -hmm. So credit to Islam, because I feel like he's not getting enough credit where he deserves for going in to the enemy's mm -hmm. back door and saying, I'm coming in, man, try to take what I, take the bigger of the crown. If you want it, you can't come grab it. So... I, I think so, and it's weird too because I, I see the sentiment you're going for, mm -hmm. Derek. Not a lot of people are giving Islam the credit he deserves. <laughs> He's still living in yeah. the Habib shadow. What do you think he needs to do the next step to actually get past that shadow to create one of his own? Does he need to move up to 170? Does he need to just have an un undeniable reign? What do you think? He needs to have an undeniable reign, man. And I'll tell you, he's already separating himself from Habib. He's talking more trash right here, right? He said it. He was like, guys, like it or not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. What is he doing? What did Volkanovski get him credit for immediately after the fight? He says, I guess he underestimated my rest my he underestimated my wrestling, but I underestimated his striking because he tagged me with some good stuff right there, right? So Makashev doesn't panic wrestle, right? He'll sit there and he'll strike with you and then he'll time his shots perfectly. Time his shots. Strike, 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 time his shots. I'll say this. This is the conversation that needs to be had and then we can move on. Pound for pound, right? I said it before the fight. A victory against Alexander Volkanovsky, unless it's just smash this guy first, second round, submit him, get him out of there. Does, you shouldn't be the pound for pound champion, even though Volkanovsky was considered to be the pound for pound best right there, right? You beat him. Okay. Can you go up a weight class, right? And can you defeat the guys there? Because if you can do that, then I think we have some legitimate pound for pound relevancy right here at the end of the day. A lot of people are arguing Volkanovsky should not lose his pound for pound crown. Um, after this loss, especially with how competitive this fight was, you know what I mean? It's not like this was like a him getting his ass kicked. It's like, yeah, you lost, but you lost technically as opposed to 
you got your ass beat. You know what I'm saying? So pound for pound wise, man, is this a silly conversation to have in the first place or, or what do you think? No, I I think Volk stays where he is, especially because the rest of the guys in the back in the 155 pound class were getting whooped on, getting finished yeah. in the first couple of rounds. So you got a smaller dude, quote unquote, smaller dude that comes up into the weight class. He keeps mm -hmm. his pound for pound status. It's kind of the reason for it. It's like DJ beats up somebody else at class above him. He's still the the you know the pound for pound. How it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with that being said, man, this was a fantastic fight. This was the biggest test of Islam Makashev's career. He said it himself. He says Volkanovski was my toughest opponent. Um, gave me a hard, hard work. But if we want to fight again, I'm ready. Let's go. You know what I mean? So this dude is game. But uh, listen, man, controversy aside, can after this, like logic, I feel like this was more of a logical conversation. So like logical, just being rational. We can we can stop the nonsense. Right. With these people. Oh, Volkanovski got robbed. Blah, blah, blah. We can stop that. Right. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right, man. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to make sure, man. I'm never this this hard on like come on, bro. But it's just like one of these. <laughs> I'm seeing it overwhelmingly on social this media. This on the fight for sure. I'm, yeah, I was it. trying to uh, you know devil's advocate for the for the casuals. Out I love there that. that I love you know? that. I love that. But like, let's not let's not fuel the 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 flames, the fire here, man. <laughs>